35 years after deaf actress Marley Matlin took home an Academy Award, Troy Kotzer took home his own Oscar for CODA. It was another win for those in the deaf community. The actor says the film, an acronym for Child of a Deaf Adult, is a sign that Hollywood is changing, and he hopes it will open the door for other people with disabilities. I've met so many passionate, hungry storytellers who have great stories to tell who happen to be disabled. So I don't see them as disabled, I see them as creatives and storytellers. And so I really hope that the outside world doesn't see them for their disability. People are people, regardless of whether you have a disability or regardless of whether you're gay, lesbian or trans or and from any diverse or marginalized community. What's beautiful is that everyone has stories to tell and we can collaborate and work together. He says working on the film drew on some experiences from his own life. A recent experience with his daughter, Akoda herself, came to mind. She was working on a song and asked him what he thought. So I, I put my hands and my head down on the piano to feel the vibrations. And sometimes I can feel the softness or the vibrato or the vibration of the keys. And then she played another song. It was a bit softer and tonally and emotionally it was different. And so I could notice the ebb and the flow of that song. From my deaf perspective, my daughter is curious. It's kind of fun for her to see my reaction. Of course, I don't know what the mood is. I don't know what the lyrics are. He says being a parent, whether hearing or deaf, doesn't change. After all, we're all just trying to connect with our children. There are so many parents who happen to have children who love music and the deaf parents try and figure out a way to understand and connect to them and understand their passion. Jonathan Yerquart, whose father is deafblind, had a similar experience sharing his performances with his dad. Whenever they had that scene of Marley, Troy, and Daniel sitting in the audience, like watching their daughter sing and not hearing anything, that is what went through my head whenever my dad would come see me. And I was, it broke my heart. It really hit home for me. In the film, the main character, Ruby, sings for her father and he puts his hand on her throat to feel the vibration. So growing up, I'd always like take my dad's hand and go, ha 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 ha. I'd like put his hand on my like throat so he could feel how I laugh. With a number of deaf actors in the industry today, it looks like the future is getting brighter for deaf representation. Kotzer's co-star Daniel Durant says although the CODAs themselves aren't disabled, they are part of the same deaf community and sharing that perspective is important. So now we can continue coverage of this and keep hitting people with this information and raise awareness about us. So I have a gut feeling that's positive that things will continue to change in the future and we'll continue growing opportunities and having different deaf roles for movies and TV pop up. CODA not only taught audiences about deafness and deaf culture, it gave real life CODAs a chance to see themselves on screen. There are so many stories to tell. And so my real question is, is, is Hollywood ready?